The Trumps are always grifting, and they're always using the symbols of our country now, the symbols of our democracy, to enrich themselves. It is so pathetic. Melania's latest grift after her Mother's Day grift is selling this gold-plated necklace right here. She's getting a lot of blowback for it. It's called the Fortitude Collection. She's selling these necklaces for $175 each. And the way she describes it is a way to celebrate our service members, our nation, and our freedoms by purchasing these flimsy necklaces for $175. How pathetic. The blowback against Melania, at least on her own social media, has been swift. People have been writing on her Instagram, when will this disturbing family just stop the grifting? Another person writes, Miss Girl, what in the entire F is this? Another one writes, Fresh from the discount bin of Liberace House of Crap. Another person writes, The griff continues. Give him all or give her all of your money now. Keith Clayards writes, She'll be selling her farts in the cab next. Elizabeth writes, Shilling off our dead veterans is disgusting and not a dime will go to any actual charities. If it did, you guys would take most of the money anyway. That's what Elizabeth claims. My LAT writes, your pandering is ugly. This other person just does a poop emoji, which says it all. But here is this ugly necklace and they use our, they just use the terms of our country like liberty to grift and to make money. They called it the fortitude collection. As I said, to celebrate our service members and our freedom. Why? By, by buying necklaces from the Trumps. Are you kidding me? And it has one of a kind customization. You could get the bravery collection. And by the way, this follows Melania's grift. And she does this on like at each of the holidays. Remember her Mother's Day grift? If you want to share the joy of love with your mom on Mother's Day, here, buy this necklace for $245, she says. Remember, we did a whole thing on that. Oh, and then uh, previously she's been selling those NFTs. She started selling the NFTs before Trump was selling the NFTs. Just how tacky is this? How humiliating for our nation. And then they have the right-wing propaganda networks push this crap. Remember that person I've been telling you about? Her name is Natalie Harp. And she is the, I think she's been called the human printer. She follows Donald Trump around with a portable printer to print favorable articles for him that they think Donald Trump will like. And he sits there in the court and he crosses out the portions that he doesn't like. And then he goes in the press and he reads those. Natalie Harp, before becoming the human printer, she gets paid over $100,000 from the political action committee of Donald Trump. She used to work for the right-wing network OAN, which would push out a bunch of this ridiculous kind of Trump propaganda to buy their NFTs. So this is what Melania said about her uh, NFT collection, that she did this NFT collection on the Liberty Bell and to commemorate uh, the Apollo 11 moon landing. You can buy Melania NFTs. And Donald Trump reposted this. Using technology, I am building on my Be Best initiative and mission to support and empower the younger generation, Melania Trump says. So go buy her Liberty Bell NFTs. And then the right-wing propaganda network OAN, Natalie Harp, now known as the human printer who follows Donald Trump around a trial with the portable printer. Just watch this. This is, this looks like parody. This is real. This is really happening in our country. Play this clip. On Thursday, the office of Melania Trump announced Mrs. Trump's new non-fungible token platform, teasing the release of exclusive NFTs with the first being Melania's vision. According to a statement released by the office of Melania Trump, Melania's vision is a breathtaking watercolor art by Marc Antoine Coulon and embodies Mrs. Trump's cobalt blue eyes, providing the collector with an amulet to inspire. 
the limited edition piece of digital artwork will be one soul, approximately $150, and includes an audio recording from Mrs. Trump with a message of hope. My vision is, look forward with inspiration, strength, and courage. Stunning. As she commented on her groundbreaking new enterprise, our beloved and favorite First Lady writes, I am proud to share my new NFT endeavor, which embodies my passion for the arts, plus my ongoing commitment to children. Of course, Milani is also known for destroying our great Rose Garden at the White House. She's been paid, or she's paid her stylist uh, over 400, close to half a million dollars from political action committee money. Great work, Mr. and Mrs. Magadonia. The wife of a purported billionaire is using your money to pay her stylist tens of thousands of dollars every single month. Great work right there. And everything they do is a grift. Everything they do is take these Trumps. I mean, I've showed you this one before, but like when Melania literally stole the convention speech of um, Michelle Obama, like word for word, she just read Michelle Obama's convention speech. Yeah, whatever, I'm, I'll just plagiarize the whole thing. Watch this, remember this? Of the the values values that you work like hard for what you, you want in life. For what you want in life. That your word is, your, your, word bond. is your bond, and you that you do what, what you say you're gonna do. Keep your promise. That you treat people, that you treat people with respect. With Dignity and respect because, because we, want we want our children, children and all children in this nation to know that the only, only limit to the height of your achievements is the, is the reach of your dreams, dreams and your willingness and your to willingness work hard for, work them. for them. And then uh, Melania uh, would go on right wing networks for Donald and she would say, you know, by the way, how Melania got here was through some modeling agency that introduced wealthy men to Eastern European young women at the Kit Kat Club, and that's how she got here to, to begin with. It's all been written about. I've talked about this before. And she would go on TV and say that Barack Obama, former President Obama, does not have a birth certificate. Remember, she would do all of that crap and how she got here. Play this clip. But and what is this with the birth certificate obsession? Did he ask to see yours when you met him? I well, mean, I needed to put mine anyway, because if you want to become an American citizen, you need to put the, Amer the birth certificate. Right. I have a birth certificate from Slovenia. Mm -hmm. And you they, don't, do it, you want to see President Obama birth certificate I've or not? I've seen it. I've seen it. It's, it's not it, a birth certificate. Well, it's a, it's a certificate of live birth, right, which they but, get. But Melania, that, if they... If he insists on what he's saying, then no one in Hawaii can ever run for president because they all get the same live birth certificate. Well, but they need Beth to have... Miller is finished, for example. <laughs> <laughs> they need to have, and in one way, it will be very easy if President Obama just show it. And because but he it's, does. Not only, it's not only Donald <laughs> who wants to see it, it's American people who voted for him and who didn't vote for him. They want to see that. But it, it's on display in Chicago. We've seen it on the internet. We've seen it. It's, it's not the same as yours, but, but it's it, a certificate of live birth. Well, I, uh, we feel it's, it's different than, you know, birth certificate. All right, well, I think you should give it up at this well, point. Well, it's, it's not him that it's bringing up. It's the media all the time, all the time. And on the other hand, it's Dr. Jill Biden and President Biden Here's the Biden family celebrating, sharing love with each other. More photos of the Bidens together. It, it is almost, you can't even script it this way, the choice for our country, right? You have in the Bidens a loving family. You may disagree with their policies. I don't, but you know, there's some I don't, but mostly I, I agree with their policy. You may disagree with, but, but this is a loving family. These are decent people, President Biden and Dr. Jill Biden. You see them right there together. And then on the other hand, you have the Trumps. And while Melania was pregnant, Donald Trump, of course, was cheating on her with both Karen McDougal and Stormy Daniels. We know of at least those two. And Karen McDougal is describing while Melania gave birth or was pregnant, this is what she and Donald Trump were doing. Here, play this clip. You, you said you had text that first time. All these times you saw him, this was an ongoing sexual relationship. 
Absolutely. Can you estimate how many times you actually saw him? I can tell you we saw each other <clears throat> a minimum five times a month, um, up up to bigger numbers per month. So we over the course of how long? So we were together ten months before I chose to end it. So, so we saw each other quite frequently. So dozens of times you were together. Many dozens of times. And you yes. were intimate. Yes. Dozen, many dozens mm -hmm. of times. Did he ever use protection? <clears throat> no. No, he didn't. Was that something you thought about or it didn't concern you at the time? You know, we talked about it um, right beforehand. He, he was starting to, and then he's like, I don't like these things. And, you know, we discussed things. Do you do blah, blah, blah. And we were just honest with each other. And uh, we didn't we didn't use any. So you have the Trump world, the grifty world of selling you all this crap, tacky plagiarists. Ugh. Ugh. I mean, that's what I get. Like, ugh. like, who are these people? How, how, how do millions of Americans buy into this crap? It should be so obvious. And then on the other hand, here's a recent speech that Dr. Jill Biden gave. Just watch. It's, it's impressive. Play this clip. Joe wakes up every morning thinking about he, how he can make the lives of Americans better. Donald Trump wakes up every morning caring about one person and one person only himself. <laughs> He tears people down and pits us against one another. He mocks women's bodies and devalues our existence. And here's the one thing that really gets my filly up. As the daughter of a World War II veteran, Navy veteran, and the mother of an Army soldier, Donald Trump insults our veterans and disparages those who died in war calling them losers and suckers. How dare he? <laughs> Donald Trump is dangerous to women and to our families and to our country. And we can't let him win. <laughs> We can't wake up the day after the election like we did in 2016, terrified of the future ahead of us, thinking, oh my God, what just happened? What are we going to do now? No, we must meet this moment as if our rights are at stake, because they are. democracy is on the line because it is. We must reelect Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. It's like, as I said, you can't script this type of test for our country about who we are. Oh, wow. Anyway, as we head into Memorial Day, the more griftiness from the Trumps. Hit subscribe, we're on our way to 3 million. Thanks for watching. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.